Good everybody, Chris Fahey here from the Bailey's Insights and Data team. Welcome to this edition of Market View. In this video I'll be giving you a quick update on the latest activity in the New Zealand housing market. So this month's been an interesting month. From a statistics perspective, the latest New Zealand median house price was 825000 and the median for Auckland was $1.09 million. If you've been watching these videos over 2022, you would have seen a generally downward trend on prices. These latest statistics are interesting because they showed a very slight rise across both New Zealand and Auckland prices. The number of sales across New Zealand was just under 5,000. Now this was lower than a typical October, and this is pretty consistent with what we've seen this year with generally lower numbers of sales. The other indicator that was positive for the month was a reduction in the median days to sell, which shows that properties are generally selling a bit faster. So overall those statistics show a level of stability entering the market and or some positivity from the spring selling season. In terms of outlook for the market, there's a couple of different things happening at the moment. So you would have seen the Reserve Bank has increased the official cash rate, um, looking to increase interest rates to combat higher inflation. So it's generally a negative thing for the housing market. On the flip side though, one of the things that the Reserve Bank is very concerned about is the incredibly strong employment market and what that might mean for high levels of wage inflation coming into next year. And so that's interesting because higher interest rates are generally a negative thing for the housing market, um, but wage inflation would generally be a positive thing. Now underlying everything is the Reserve Bank's concern around creating an inflation spiral where prices increase and then people seek higher wages which then pushes up prices more. The most notable example that we've got around the world of that right now is in Turkey where inflation has been at about 100% per annum. Um, now interestingly house price growth has been at about 160% per annum. So obviously a pretty extreme situation there which the Reserve Bank in New Zealand is trying to make sure it doesn't happen here. Putting that all aside, one of the key things at the moment is that there's differences in market conditions all around New Zealand. And so some locations are stronger than others. And so what that means is that if you are looking to transact, whether that be buy or sell, uh, make sure that you get some advice from your local agents on the ground as to exactly what they're seeing in the market right now. Speaking of which, here's a couple of sales examples from around New Zealand to give you a sense around how those median house prices are translating to the real world. First off, the New Zealand median house price was 825000 Showcasing this, we've got 11 White Street in Fidianga. And so this is a three bedroom home, well suited to first home buyers or a holiday home. It's got a full size section, good size garage. This was sold by Belinda Sammons and Kylie Pullen from Bailey's in Fidianga. At that price, you could have also got 19 Gemini Place in Rolleston. And so this is a four bedroom, two bathroom home. This was marketed by a set date of sale and was then sold with an asking price. Um, this was sold by Adrian Goodeve and Joe McIntosh from Bailey's Darfield. Meanwhile, taking that 825000 up to Auckland, you could have purchased 24 Pecan Place in Avondale. So this is a four bedroom townhouse, 123 square metres. This was sold by Chris Bell and Sally Ridge from the Auckland Central Residential Team. At that price, you could have also purchased an apartment in Stonefields with 201 Bar 4 Blue Grey Avenue. So this is located in the highly desirable suburb of Stonefields. It's a two bedroom, one bathroom apartment sold by Paula Holford from Bailey's Auckland Central. Now in terms of the medium for Auckland, that was 1.09 million. And so for that price, you could have purchased four Tohuhu Road in Mount Wellington. So it's a three bedroom, three bathroom, terraced home in near new condition. Um, this was sold under a multi-offer situation, so indicating some strong demand for that particular property. Um, this was sold by Elise Barkley and Julie Quinton from Bailey's Remuera. Taking that same money to the edge of the region, you could have actually purchased some property with some bush with 493 Scenic Drive in Waitarua and the Waitakere Ranges. This is a four bedroom, two bathroom home set on 1.79 hectares of land. So sold by Cherry Kingsley Smith and Laura Hainan from Bailey's Northwest. At that price, you could have also purchased 170 Panorama Drive in Inner Glen and Nelson. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom home. It's got solar panel array on the roof, which is exciting and some nice views. This was sold by John Ed House from Bailey's Mochueka. 